Thank you for joining in. You are watching the End Time Revival. So the passage is actually Deuteronomy 20, uh, 22 verse 10. It says that uh, you shall not plow with an ox and a donkey together. An ox is actually a clean animal and a donkey is an unclean animal. So there are two things that this scripture actually opened my eyes to see. First of all, in terms of marriage now as we're speaking, uh, first of all, the person that you're getting married to has to be somebody that is aware that he or she is coming to work thy kingdom come that is the goal of the marriage it's not just about wearing um the same clothes snapping picture and procreation no the word in deuteronomy 22 verse 10 says you shall not I say you 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 shall not plow there is work to be done. <clears throat> God is not going to plow. Like you are the there is work to be done. You have to plow. That is is a you have to work. So your partner to be has to have the mindset that it is a kingdom mandate. It's a kingdom mandate. It's a kingdom marriage as well. So that's number one. And number two, um, thou shalt not, let me read it again, thou shalt not plow with an ox and a donkey together. Now, when you think about plow, the first thing that comes to your, to your mind is an equipment, actually. And ordinarily, you can't have a plowing machine, for instance, in my room. It has to be on a, on a land, on a field that has been cleared. So, once you get to a land... And you see a plowing machine the ox uh pulls the the plowing machine the plowing machine is 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 uh is put on the ground and once the ox pulls the the machine the soil is being turned over it's drawing a line like it's drawing a, a, a let's say a hole a line a straight line if you use google to to check what i'm saying a plowing machine in a field just use google you see what i'm talking about the field you see like a straight line so the soil is being turned over and the reason why um, this is being done is because so that the farmer will put seeds into those um those um holes those lines that have been um, drawn by the plowing machine now the soil in biblical terms is the mind the seed that the farmer puts is the word of god and the farmer itself or himself is god now i correlated this scripture with the passage that says uh thou shall not uh, conform you should not conform yourself uh we should not conform to this world but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind by the renewing of your mind by the renewing of your mind that is once the 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 ground is being plowed your mind that's the plowing machine it's it's a daily thing your partner has to have the mindset that i will continually renew my mind every day with the word of god and the only way to do it is by plowing the, i don't know i don't know how to put the two together for you to understand what i am saying you plow the ground and the soil is being turned over. What is that soil? Your mind. Be it transformed by the renewing of the word, by the renewing, renewing of your mind through the word of God. The seed that the farmer puts after the ground has been plowed is the word of God. So once you marry somebody, she has to continually renew her mind. He also has to continually renew his mind with the seeds, which is the word of God. The reason why I say so is because some people come into marriage and for instance, let me use my gender some of us say things like this is how i am you take me like this or you just leave me alone like you can't change me this is how i am you saw me like this you, you married me i can't change you understand and you're not supposed to say that as a believer you are supposed to continually renew your mind with the word of god you plow the ground you have to continually renew that's the kind of partner that this scripture, the Jeremy 22 verse, is trying to tell us, renew your mind every day 
renew your mind. I had to go and find out how a, a, a land is being plowed, how the the it looks like, what is the purpose, and how is what after the plowing, what next? That's how I, I was able to come up with this analogy. You plow the ground so that it can put seeds and it can germinate. And once it germinates, it germinates to bring forth fruits of the spirit. So your partner has to have the the seed, which is the word of God, in her soil, which is her mind, so that the fruits of the spirit can be exhibited everywhere he or she goes. So that is the reason why uh, it says don't don't um, plow a land with a, a an ox and, and a donkey. A donkey, when I check the characteristics of a donkey, a donkey is not as heavy laden as an ox. A donkey walks when he or she it wants to walk. Once it's done working for like 30 minutes and you're trying to pull it together, pull him to 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 to, to plow it to with the uh, plowing machine, it will not go. It will struggle. It will it would it will go against everything. And once you yoke it with an ox, you're going to slow the ox down. Imagine getting married to an unbelieving wife. The wife will slow the the, the man's ministry down. The second thing is a donkey's uh, breath. Once he breathes upon an ox, the breath is deadly. It can affect the blood flow of the ox. And the ox can die. It doesn't have a cure. So once you yoke the two of them together, you're only killing yourself. Because no matter how much you beat the, the ass, which is a donkey, it will not move. But the ox has um, humility. The ox can be tired, but it will still move. You use a stick to beat it, it will move. You go here, you beat it to go here, it will go there. You tell it to stop, it will stop. It has the ability to bear burdens. So imagine having an ox and an ox together. Imagine the kind of grounds that they will plow for the kingdom of God. So the scripture just taught me two things. You are marrying a partner that has the mentality and idea that you are coming to work. There is work to be done. And number two, once you plow the ground and the soil is turned over, the soil is your mind. And the reason why the soil is being turned over is so that seeds can be put there. And how can you put those seeds? It's the word of God. So renewing of the mind continually in the marriage. So that's what I, I how I could um, explain. Well, that's the light that came to me when I read the scripture. All right, thank you.